students sacrifice phones for boys with leukemia. When the varsity hockey team at Bellerica Memorial High School in Bellerica, Mass were brainstorming ways to help a young peewee hockey player with leukemia, they came up with the typical fundraising ideas like a 5k race. Then, one of the teammates' father, Glenn Corbett, came up with an idea that would both affect the teens and be a surefire way to get adults to donate money. Take away the teens' phones. More than 100 students at Bellerica Memorial handed their phones over to police officers who will keep them in a safety box for 30 days to raise money for sealing out for leukaemia. It's unbelievable, said Corbett, whose son Brian is in his second year. Phones are still coming in. The kids know they're paying it forward. Corbett's son and his teammates first got to know the 12-year-old for whom they are raising money, Ian Candy, through the town's local hockey association. When they learned of his battle with leukaemia, they made Ian an honorary captain of the school's varsity team and had him to throw out the puck at a game. He's awesome, Corbett said of Ian. I told the kids, let's do this so he's back here in two years. Ian was at the high school for the sealing out kickoff as students signed a permission slip and handed their phones over to the Bellerica Police Department, who will keep them in a safety box at police headquarters until May 16th. With the extra time the kids have on their hands, with no phones to Facebook, Tweet and Snapchat, they are asked to get family, friends and businesses to sponsor them for each day they are without a phone. People are just blown away that a kid would give up their phone for a day, much less 30 days, Corbett said. Kids are turning in huge donations of $1,400, $2,500, as much as $3,000. The hockey team hopes to raise at least $120,000 in the next 30 days. Corbett plans to meet with the Candy family, who have two other kids in addition to Ian, to determine how the money will be donated. The Dana Farber Children's Hospital Cancer Centre in Boston, where Ian is being treated, could be a potential recipient, or the funds could all go to the Candy family to help defray expenses. I'm going to see where they are and how they want us to donate the money, Corbett said. While most of the students were expectedly anxious about losing their phone for 30 days, Corbett says he has heard from some teens who quietly think they were excited for the chance to disconnect. I had one member of the girls hockey team text me and say, Mr C, I can't wait to give up my phone. No one can reach me for 30 days, Corbett said. We're going to have the kids keep a journal of what it's like without their phone, he said. Maybe it'll be a relief. Ellen Durant, English Radio Worldwide Online.